she said that people were asking her protection money and then she realized Allah is a protector so today you have to thank the people who asked you for protection money because of them you accepted Islam <laughs> coming to your two questions your first question was that you read that they used to give you bread and wine and then it's mentioned in the Quran you said that Jesus Christ peace be upon him in the second coming will kill the pigs sister that is mentioned in the hadith not in the Quran but information is correct in the Sahih Hadith, the saying of the Prophet, in the second coming he will come, he will break the cross and kill the pig. Why will he do it? Coming to your second question. How will you know that Islam is a religion of truth? Sister, you could see now, the sisters, they were filled with joy. The sisters were crying. This is coming from God Almighty. The main thing is, sister, that there are various reasons how a person can get convinced. Some are convinced with reason, some with logic, some hear the Adhan, they like it, some hear the Quran. There are hundreds of different reasons. But the most common reason, as you rightly said, is Tawheed. Like you rightly said, who is the one to protect Allah? We Muslims, we are united because of the Quran and because of the Messenger of Muhammad We don't fight over small differences. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Click to subscribe Believing Being and press the bell icon to get notified about new videos. Assalamu alaikum everyone, good evening. Um, my name is Judy. I am from Philippines and I have some questions, but before that I am born and raised from Christian family and to be honest I am confused about few things because I went different churches and one of them asking for money for protection Yes, that's my experience before the asking money <laughs> for protection and then when they know that I'm here in Oman I'm that I have work here they calling me on my social account like to give more money to so I have like too much protection. But I know the protection we can. Um, I feel nervous. Sorry. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I feel nervous. And I know the protection comes from above, from God only and also about for for the bread and wine they feeding us uh, bread they said that one is the body of the body of Jesus and also they feed us uh, like to drink this wine because they said it's the the blood of Jesus but by in my knowledge is bread is bread and wine is wine so my question is, in Quran, when Jesus came back, he said he will kill all the pigs. So I want to know if he will kill them, what will be the benefit of the world? Sorry. And why And why he created if he doesn't like them? And my second question, Sorry. how will I know Sorry, sister, that... Sister, one word I didn't hear correctly. You said Jesus Christ will kill the pigs. Yes. That's what you said, no? You said Jesus Christ will kill the pigs. Yes, sister. Yes, continue. The second question. And my second question, <coughs> how will I know that the Islam is the truth? MashaAllah. Sister, there are two questions. Before I answer the question, she said that people were asking her protection money. And then she realized Allah is a protector. So today, you have to thank the people who asked you for protection money. Because of them, you accepted Islam. Like how I, I thank the Prime Minister of India, Modi. Because of him, I did Hijra to Malaysia. I'm following the footsteps of the Prophet. I don't curse my Prime Minister, Modi. I do dua. May Allah give him Hidayah. So sister, you have to thank the people who ask for protection. <clears throat> now coming to, your, coming to your two questions. Your first question was that you read that they used to give you bread and wine. And then it's mentioned in the Quran, you said that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, in the second coming will kill the pigs. Sister, that is mentioned in the Hadith, not in the Quran. But the information is correct. In the Sahih Hadith, the things of the Prophet, in the second coming he will come, he will break the cross and kill the pig. Why will he do it? Because, sister, there's a misconception among the Christian world that drinking wine is good and eating pig is good. In fact, if you read the Bible, 
the Bible clearly mentions in the book of Ephesians, chapter number 5, verse number 18, be not drunk with wine. It's mentioned in the book of Proverbs, chapter number 20, verse number 1, wine is a mocker. So according to the Bible, in two places it says, wine is prohibited. Yet, the Christian drink wine. Pork is prohibited in several places in the Bible. If you read, if you hear my talk, it's mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 14, verse number 8. In the book of Leviticus, chapter number 11, verse number 7 and 8. As well as book of Isaiah, chapter 65, verse number 4. Pork is prohibited. Though it is prohibited, majority of the Muslim, majority of the Christians have pork. But we Muslims don't have. Therefore, I say, we Muslims are more Christian than the Christians themselves. If Christian means following the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, we, Christian, we Muslims are more Christian than the Christians themselves. So when Isa alayhi salam will come in his second coming, the Quran says in Surah Maida chapter 5, verse 116, on that day he will say, he will ask Allah SWT, I never told them to worship me. But he said, oh Abdullah, worship Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbakum, my Lord and your Lord. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, never told them to worship. And the Quran says, in Surah Nisa, Chapter number, uh, uh, Quran says, sorry, Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 72. They are doing kufr. Those who say, Isa alayhi salam is God. But said Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel, O Abdullah, worship Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbakum, who is my Lord and your Lord. In no man shrik billah, anyone who associates partner with Allah, fakad haram Allah alayhi jannah. Allah will make jannah haram for him. And fire shall be dwelling place, and he shall have no helpers in the hereafter. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, In no Shrik Billah, anyone who associates partners with Allah, Fakad Haram Allahu Alayhi Jannah, Allah will make Jannah haram for him. Vama Vahunar, Vama Lil Jalil Mansar, and fire shall be his dwelling place, and he shall have no helpers in the hereafter. So this. So Christians, as you rightly said earlier, they think Jesus claimed divinity. And I said in yesterday's talk of mine, there is not a single unequivocal statement anywhere in the Bible, not a single un unambiguous statement anywhere in the Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that I am God or why he says worship me. If any Christian can show me any such verse, any unequivocal statement, any un unambiguous statement from anywhere in the Bible, I, Dr. Zakir Naik, I'm ready to accept Christianity today. I'm putting, I'm putting my head on the guillotine. I'm not speaking on the behalf of the other Muslim brothers. They may not be a student of comparative religion. So the reason Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has raised up Isa alayhi salam, Allah says in Surah Nisa chapter 4 verse 157, They killed him not, neither did they crucify him. It was only made to appear so. And anyone who differ are full of conjectures. For they killed him not. Verse number Surah Nisa chapter 4, 150 it says, and Allah raised him up alive. Why did Allah raise him up alive? Because he was the only messenger amongst all the messengers whose followers mistook that he claimed divinity. All the other messengers, before they died, their followers agreed that he was a messenger of God. He was the only messenger whose followers as a whole thought he was God, claimed divinity. So Allah raised him up alive in his second coming, he will come to clarify the Christians, he never claimed divinity. And to prove that, he will break the cross and kill the pig. He will break the cross and kill the pig. That means he wasn't crucified. Why using the cross as a symbol? And you asked, what was the reason God created the pig? You asked that question. No? So that Jesus Christ could kill him. See, Allah has a purpose for everything. It is not, it is prohibited for us to have khanzir, the pork. But that doesn't mean that everything has a purpose. You know, normally when you go to villages, they don't have modern toilets like the one we have. When you go to villages, when you go to the call of nature, you come back, the pig goes and clears everything. It is the best scavenger that God has cre created. Scavenger. It has its purpose. Allah knew that the Christians will eat pig. Allah knew Jesus Christ would come, inshallah, and kill the pig. As a sign to show that he never claimed divinity. As a sign to show 
that what you are doing is wrong. Coming to a second question. How will you know that Islam is the religion of truth? Sister, you could see now, the sister, they were filled with joy. People, the sisters were crying. This is coming from God Almighty. The main thing is, sister, that there are various reasons how a person can get convinced. Some are convinced with reason, some with logic, some hear the Adhan, they like it, some hear the Quran. There are hundreds of different reasons. But the most common reason, as you rightly said, is Tawheed. Like you rightly said, who is the one to protect? Allah. Allah is the one to protect. You know, people didn't want me to come to Oman. You may have heard that. There were news media in India that Dr. Zakina comes to Oman, he'll be arrested. It is allows to protect. It helped. Maybe the audience is bigger. People are watching on the channel. We weren't going to show live on the channel. Now we are showing live on the Peace TV so that people know I'm giving a talk here. It is Allah of the protect. And we have faith in Allah. And we do our homework. We saw the background. Oman is a very good country, very peaceful country. They don't have fights with anyone. They have their own rule. Alhamdulillah. Allah says, trust in God and tie a camel. We tie a camel, we trust in God. And I'm very happy coming here. And I saw the love. I'd come two years. I've, I'd come twice before. But this time, what I saw was something different, mashallah. The people, the love, the kindness. And this is the beauty of Islam. You know, people try and take advantage because of differences. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Imran, chapter 3, verse 103, وَاتَسِيمُ بِحَبْنِ اللَّهِ جَمِعَ وَلَا تَفْرَقُ Hold strongly to the rope of Allah and be not divided. We Muslims, we are united because of the Quran. And because of the Messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We don't fight over small differences. So, the reason, most reason that people accept Islam, because Allah is the one to protect. He is the one who is Hafiz. And the maximum reason that people understand is because of Tawheed. And because of Tawheed, you find the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when you read the Quran and you understand it in different ways, it can inspire intellectual, it can inspire a person who is good with literature, it can inspire a person who is normal. That's the beauty of the Quran. Each verse can be understood in various different ways. Each one inspiring a person. So Alhamdulillah, and there are and in my talk, the first talk I gave, whether you attend or not, that Quran, the Quran is a global necessity. And I told there, it gives a challenge. You want to prove the Quran wrong, you can prove it. And people tried and they could not do it. So Quran is the only book on the face of the earth, the only religious scripture which is in pristine purity, and it shows you how to prove itself wrong. People can't do it. So when you read the Quran, you understand there is no other religion that is truth except Islam. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Imran chapter 3 verse 19, Inna dina in the law is Islam. The only religion acceptable in the sight of Allah is Islam. Allah says in Surah Imran chapter 3 verse 85, If anyone desires any other religion except Islam, it will never be accepted of him and he will be amongst the losers. Hope that answers the question, sister. Thank you. Most welcome, sister. Jazakallah for being an inspiration to us. Oh.